QNSI is a telecom service provider in the Philippines that has partnered with DroneLink for flight automation and Sightsee for data processing and analytics to drive the digital transformation at PhilTower, a tower co that is taking the lead in adopting drones and AI to enhance their business. Over 700 towers were digitally twinned within six months of starting operations by a team of over 20 service technicians new to drones. Enabling QNSI with the capability to digitize over 200 towers a month for their clients. DroneLink's Cell Tower Capture Solution, ScanLink, enabled quick training of existing staff to deploy drones as another tool in their toolbox. A simple step-by-step -step workflow guides pilots to mark key tower inputs using the drone on site, which generates an optimized mission that is required for creating high-quality 3D models. The data is uploaded to SiteC's Telecom Digital Twinning and AI platform that converts the captured data into a single source of truth for tower codes to improve asset management workflows, accelerate revenue generation, reduce costs with fewer truck rolls and faster audits, and improve inspections and loading analysis. Let's take a closer look at the workflow to generate and fly a ScanLink mission at a tower. In the DrillLink app, open the ScanLink task. Select Get Started and select the tower type being scanned, in this case a self-support lattice tower. Give the mission a name which is useful for operations management. Next, fly the drone to the minimum safe altitude as described in the instructions. Selecting Mark will save the drone's altitude. The next step is to mark each rad level height equipment mounted on the tower from the bottom to the top with the gimbal angle set to zero degrees. In this case, there is only one rad level at the top. Next, the highest part of the tower is marked, followed by the center of the tower. Fly above the tower and set the gimbal to negative 90 degrees. Once aligned, select Mark. Next, mark the edge of the tower to set the structure radius, unless the default value is sufficient. The following steps to mark obstacles are optional and are designed to better image the tower base and compound. The workflow uses the drone to mark the boundary of an obstacle within the circle on the map, such as these trees, and then mark a safe altitude above the obstacle using the drone. The pilot chooses to mark a second higher obstacle as well. The input summary shows all the marked values, which can be modified if needed. Selecting Continue generates the mission, which is immediately loaded and ready to fly. The 3D preview shows the flight path and obstacles, consisting of orbits and columns using various camera angles, optimized to digitally twin the entire site, in addition to a map and 360 pano. The mission estimate provides details about the total flight time and the number of photos to be captured. Press play to start the mission. The mission details section shows information about the next mission component to be flown. The 360 pano at the top of the tower is captured first, followed by the site overview orbit, and then tower scan orbits, going down the tower ensuring predefined camera overlap settings are met. After a battery swap, the pilot resumes the mission which safely navigates around the tower to the last location and resumes taking photos. Lower on the tower, the orbits are replaced with columns for improved safety around obstacles. Next, the rad level orbits are flown from bottom to top, in this case, just one at the top, followed by the nadir map, capturing the surrounding area and the access road until the mission is accomplished. Operations can be monitored from the DroneLink web application using the Missions tab. Searching for the mission and opening it shows details including the date and time, the pilot in command and drone used, the amount of data captured, and what inputs were used to generate the mission, which is useful for quality control. If you want to learn more about the ScanLink solution from DroneLink, contact us at dronelink.com contact us.